are the most important skills with a handgun? I, I want to answer my question first, mm. right? Because I just took your handgun class. You did? Yeah. And we have a very similar take on this, if almost the same, but you focus on one thing that I don't really focus on. I, I focus on it, but not for the single one of shots and shooting accurately. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe 100% of the time people miss because they, they fail to press the trigger properly. They move the gun when the gun's going bang. That's why they miss the target. Um, you had a lot more going on with grip mm -hmm. in, in that part of the class. Uh, to me, I, grip is, is a key thing. It's the next thing in line. Because, and I, neither one of us have set sight alignment yet, have we? Like, mm -hmm. it's, 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 because it doesn't matter how great your sights are, when you overpress the trigger or you move the gun when you press the trigger, <laughs> your sights are no longer good, right? No, we get your sights just somewhere they're not supposed to be. Right, we screw it up. We would, That's what it's we gone. Did. Yeah, it's lost. So talk to me about, uh, about the one thing. The one thing, no matter what it is, if it's either the grip or the trigger press, it's about consistency. Doesn't what if they're consistently bad? Then they're just consistently bad. So we want to make them consistently good, Steve. I would love to make them consistently good. You know how you do that? A lot of practice with them. Start you, pressing the trigger without moving the gun. Start pressing the trigger without moving the gun. We yeah. know that this whole BS of mashing, flinching a trigger is just that. You have moved your body mechanically somehow to then shift the grip of the gun, shift direction of the gun. This is one of my favorite topics with people it that, is. That, that, that don't know but they think they know, and I'm not trying to sound condescending here at all. But you know, you know exactly what yeah. I'm talking about, like the the shot group pattern targets. Oh that tell yeah. Tell them you're fucking clinching, healing. Yeah, I, I nobody knows what that stuff means. The fact is, you're you're, you're the, milking it. You're moving, yeah, you're milking the gun, right? Uh, so I'm the, milking the gun. The fact is, you're moving the gun when the gun's going bang at the point where it really shouldn't be moving right now. Yeah. Uh, I can tell you by, you can shoot at anything, and if you're not hitting it, I can tell you that's what you're doing. Yeah, so please. the shot group analysis targets and, and all those things, it's just complete garbage. Bullshit? I Absolutely. love those things. Really? Complete they're, they're, garbage. They're, they're complete bullshit. They're such utter bullshit, so, it's not even funny. <laughs> what do you think their thought process is? I mean, this is a product that's out there in multiple manifestations. It's been out there since before I was born. It's yeah. been out there since, the I think, the 40s or 50s or something. And what I was able to trace back, it came from basic fundamental marksmanship back in those days of one handed shooting for bullseye which was the standard so all those little intricate little things were involving around what you were doing with one hand one set of fingers this finger on the grip blah 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 today's science we were able to diagnose things much better through video I got slow-mo video everywhere Dude, I go. everything man we can diagnose everything and you can literally watch people be like the big, strong, oh. macho, alpha guys always tell me, like, dude, I don't anticipate, man. I don't anticipate I'm, I'm not moving nothing. Dude, I'm I don't do trigger. that. No. And I get next to him with some slow-mo, and I'm like, you see this? You know, and the gun goes off. Every single yeah. time. Or I do an unknown condition drill with everybody watching that one Correct. egomaniac. You and got it. I'm like, hey, you see what you did? You moved right. the gun. Right. And you know why you moved the gun? No. Then don't do it. Because so, if you don't know why, don't do it. Right. Uh, and what you mean by you know why, it's okay to move the gun yeah, in absolutely. the right sequence. It's okay to move the gun True. when it's during recoil and you're fighting for alignment to get back on target again. Timing. It's not move the gun as you're pressing the trigger. So you'll see the competition shooters, guys. I've seen Steve do it. Yeah. I've seen Steve's a striker fall and he moved the gun. Yeah. But then the, for the 10 shots he fired before that happened were all in the same hole at like seven yards. So I know he's not moving the gun when he's pressing the trigger. He's moving the gun because he's fighting for realignment that he knows is coming because he's at that right. level. It's absolutely, it becomes a timing. That's all it is. It's a consistency in the timing of the gun, managing the recoil impulse of the pistol and how it flies. How hand. the sequence movement is ungood. True. So, Absolutely. So don't buy those and don't buy into it. No, take a class and teach you how to shoot a gun. And the other thing that gets me is here's the other thing that falls part of that. This whole bullshit about slow. Right. Slow drives me nuts because slow is just slow. We, you're one of the few people that I know who says the same thing I do. I, I, I hate, I heard it, I hate it the whole time in the Marine Corps. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast, man, uh, come on. Like, slow can never be fast. Slow no. is always going to remain slow. Slow is always going to be slow. Smooth will be smooth, and fast is just fast. Right. And we find that the longer you hover, the longer that dudes try to hold that consistency with the gun, and the longer that two-pound weight is extended 36 inches out from their body or whatever their arm span is, the longer they try to hold those sights more, then the more they start cavitating muscle fatigue, because then they want to go now. And still talking about the trigger press. Exactly. It like, doesn't need to be it slow. It doesn't even need to be slow. 
the trigger press has to be the same consistent velocity. If you start slow, finish slow. If you start fast, finish fast. But guess what? The faster you are at it with the same smoothness and consistency of pressing the trigger straight back to the rear without disrupting the sights during the trigger press, without moving anything else in the body, guess what? The gun goes bang right where the sights were aligned and the shot is there. But the longer you wait, the longer you take, the more you take, the more fatigue sets in, the more you want to anticipate things. Because guess why? You're fucking slow. Can I say that? Yes, okay, good. You or, you slow. Just, or you just bail out on the shot. Exactly. Right? You, you know, just you know give what? it up. I'll get the next one. Screw it. I'll give it. I, I can just, just it give it up. We're human. We're going to shank shots. We're going to miss. We're going to move something. Stress dictates that. Environment dictates that. Conditioning. Fatigue. All of it dictates. I have seen every great shooter that I've ever taken a course with over the years miss a shot. You know why? For sure. Because they're a human being. The only thing that I've never seen miss a shot is a ransom rest. I'm going to ask a question about that. So slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Why has that mantra stuck around? There's got to be some truth to it, no? Mm -hmm. uh, in the, the Marine Corps, the slow is smooth, smooth is fast thing is, um, it's kind of came from the scout sniper community a lot. And it's not just all involving gunplay, you know, working mm -hmm. with firearms. It's it's moving through vegetation without moving the vegetation. It, it's it's uh, moving to a, a final firing position. It, it's cre built, constructing a hide uh, without giving away that you're constructing a hide. You know, it's, uh, it's a lot of things. Be slow and smooth and that will be fast. You'll run into less errors because overall you're making up more time. And some of these processes are hours and hours in length. Uh, but then that same saying has been brought over to uh, the gun world and everything else. And wow. I just don't see it's, it applying. It's, my take on it is this. It's been passed around for so long as religion has become institutionalized inbreeding by people that don't want to look outside of the box and re-diagnose things and take a better scientific look at what's actually going on. So stop saying it if you don't know what the hell it means or the whys. It's that easy. Right. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Fuck local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things. I gotta just let it all out, I'm talking about the shit they've been talking about. Telling me I should do this, telling me I should do that. Telling me, telling me things about rap. Talking the truth and that stabbing my back, they will knock me off track. No, no, 